first loose drill to bore hole through 162 metres of hard rock, allowing them to take more air samples and to use laser imaging and a video camera to get a look inside. In the last 10 metres before we get to the scene, we'll change our drilling method, we'll go to a diamond core bit, and that'll ensure that we don't get any sparking. The military's been called in to help. There's even a robot on standby. We send in the robot and obviously to assess what the damage has been and to look at what the risks are posed to them going on the ground. It's progress, but it's not what the families want to hear. We've got faith that they're going to come out. At the Pipe River Mine in New Zealand, Simon Boda, Nine News. Sydney drivers finally have something to smile about, with the Premier announcing a major overhaul of the demerit point system. State political reporter Kevin Wilde joins us now from the city with the details. Kevin. Peter, this is all brought about by community anger in regard to mobile speed cameras and there will also be efforts to have greater signage around mobile speed cameras. Let's go straight to the details. There will be an extra demerit point for unrestricted licence holders, an increase from 12 to 13 points, an extra two points for professional drivers, now up to 14 points for people like taxi drivers and couriers will have to apply to the RTA. Now, demerit points, the number of offences that you can get demerit points for will be reduced by 22 so there will be zero demerit points for indicator offences and re reduced demerit points for driving in a bus lane. Let's hear now from the Premier. We're doing this because the majority of drivers in New South Wales do the right thing. The majority of drivers drive safely and motorists deserve a fair go. And that's why the NRMA has called for these changes. This also has the potential to be a big vote winner. What's interesting, Peter, is that the number of the amount for speeding fines won't be changed just the amount of demerit points. The opposition may back this proposal. They're saying the timing is bizarre and the government is taking with one hand and giving with the other. Back to you, Pete. All right, Kevin, thank you. An American prostitute has told of the night when Charlie Sheen went berserk in a New York hotel room. The 22-year-old says she accepted a $12,000 booking to visit the TV star 